Hey guys, it's Amy from Colorado Mountain Living and want to give you an update since we got over our septic issues this week. We actually had time to go down to Home Depot and pick up some supplies to get started painting. Now that our drywall is all finished up, we're going to be moving into doing some priming of the walls and even Brian got a jump start on doing some of the wood finish on the bathroom section. So I want to give you a preview of what that looks like. I know we don't have all the trim work, of course, but just it's a huge difference when you see Suddenly a wall is covered with wood that was just, you know, plain old drywall. So you're starting to get the feel of the character of the house, which is really fun. So let me show you what we kind of picked up at Home Depot. A lot of supplies in addition to the paint because, you know, what comes after drywall. You got to get the rest of your wiring done, your switches and your outlets and all of that. So we got it. We had a big shopping trip. And then this weekend is the working weekend. So we are getting to it. Master Closet came out really nice. Let's look over into the kitchen area. So we got right up there to the two by fours that are gonna have the, Brian's gonna do the um, paneling. So we're gonna have tongue and groove paneling up there. towards the toilet area over here. And everything that's unfinished, we're doing all of the wood paneling and tiling and stone effect. So that's up to us. So there's still a bunch of tools in here. And then upstairs real quick. In the dormer area. We've got the window front and the sides, and then we're gonna do the paneling on the ceiling part. So at least that part's pretty awesome. You know, it's like really looking forward to this part and like things being all wrapped up and the, the worst of the, of the labor being over, but. Hey, we're off to Home Depot now. Pick out our paint after Brian I uh, was able to get the septic completely unthawed. Yay. <laughs> now for fun stuff. Going in. Looking for paint. Picking colors might be fun for some people, but for me it's a super overwhelming task. I mean, with hundreds and hundreds of color. I just wanted something neutral. And I thought, you know, something in like, other than white, maybe like a cream. And then there's like still hundreds of creams, but anyway, we narrowed it down and we just ended up picking one that was just a little bit off white. So, um, just a little bit uh, white blush. Did you need it tinted? Yep. Okay, hold on. I need it. Got our paint. Got some cool light bulbs, flame light bulbs. Yeah. So we're getting light bulbs, we're getting outlets, we're getting switches, we're really doing some stocking up of stuff we've got to install now that the drywall is done. Now to get plugs. Well, it's a lot of plugs. Mm -hmm. And outlet covers. That's a lot of stuff. We've got a lot of work to do this week. This weekend. I got a lot of work to do this week. Me. And one of our big appliances came in, except a little trouble they had. Uh, the truck got stuck in the driveway. Woohoo! And here we are, folks, trying to pull out the Home Depot truck now. Uh, thank God we got some chains on those tires. I would never be able to make it up this hill. It looks like uh, they're going to be able to get out now. Yeah, I feel bad with the just the angle. I mean, the, the truck is so big, and then. I can't get much power trying to go backwards uphill on the tractor, even with chains on to pull a big truck like that out. So we just kind of gave up and they called the tow truck, but it's too bad. They, did, they just did not have the right tires to try to make it up the driveway. I probably should have called Home Depot and left a note to tell them to leave it at the bottom of the driveway. So I feel bad that they got stuck, but they got a tow truck coming to help them out. I guess the important thing is that I still got my delivery. 
I told them they could leave it at the neighbor's house and we'd pick it up later today with a tractor. Those poor Home Depot guys. Brian ended up going down with a tractor to pick up the, the oven last night. And let's take a look what it looks like. So it is a GE gas stove and it's a double oven, convection oven. So that's what I picked out. This was a big uh, Home Depot Black Friday saving $600 off the unit. So definitely excited. It's got a center griddle and four burners and uh, excited to see how it works, guys. Uh, we probably won't be able to get it hooked up until we get all of the flooring done in the kitchen, but that's where it's going, right in the corner here. So Brian's wasting no time to get the boards cut and measured so he could start doing the alcove in the bathroom. Of course, we're doing this project after hours, after work, so it's dark outside and we just got like one lamp upstairs to do the lighting by. But Brian set up a little saw table here using the stairs and uh, so he's just getting to work there, you know, kind of cutting up the boards, but starting to, starting to get the feel for what it's going to look like and it's pretty cool. Someone's really excited to get his wood posted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Waiting for this moment. <laughs> the fun part. Okay. A little bathroom tub, tub alcove. by two by fours. Yeah. Hey guys, guess what it's time for? It's time to start painting. <laughs> Been waiting for this moment for a long time and uh, it's finally here. The joys of painting, right? But the bonus is that we don't have to worry about any trim, existing trim work or ceiling or floor. I mean, we could just friggin' spray paint everywhere. <laughs> Being careful of the timbers though, it's the only thing that's finished. So anyway, I'm gonna get started in the bathroom area so Brian can get to work on that floor as soon as I'm done. And the other paint, you know, the other is, uh, we're using the Bear Pro i300. Looked like a pretty good medium grade. Uh, probably only need one coat after the base primer. So we'll see how it goes on. And uh, I'm gonna carry my carry a little wet rag around with me in case I get some spots somewhere else. And then also need to uh, carry a little sanding block in case I find some spots. I want to sand down from the, from the mud because it's just always good to have. You know this is about as exciting as watching paint dry but I just had to jump right in there and you know I learned painting from my mom she's done a lot of house painting over the years with dad building houses she's done all the finished painting so I know your best tools are wet rag that way if you drop anything you can wipe it up right away catch I should catch it before and after so this is the the vanity area right here's a little this is where the sinks are going to be so before I already started on this wall but I didn't get to the top yet or the bottom so we'll see what this area looks like of course it'll probably be dark by the time I finish so we'll have to turn on some other lights aha that's gonna help me I'm gonna try to do this closet too 
do all this little small stuff before Brian gets home. Let's see if I can do it. Things definitely go faster when you don't have to put up a lot of the trim tape. So that just means you have to be extra cautious with your trim brush. So even though this video is in fast motion, I was going much slower. But when you don't have to stop and slow down for all of that uh, tape and having, having to put it on, put it off, pull it off, and putting tarps down, it really speeds up the job. So uh, I was able to just kind of jump right in there. And it's just primer right now, so it doesn't have to be a perfect job as long as I keep the timbers clean in the floor upstairs. You know, as long as I don't get paint all over everything, then I'm happy with um, the job, you know, even if it's not 100% perfect and smooth. That's what the final coat is for. And with the paint that we got, I think we're gonna be able to do it with just one coat of primer and one coat of um, black paint over that. So Brian got a jump start on the wood paneling for the wall. This is actually the oak wood floor that's gonna go on our main floor. So in there is the toilet. And we've got a little glare off the window here, I'm trying to show you the right accurate color of what the paneling looks like. Uh, there's the subfloor for the loft, it's separated by the beam and then the alcove for the tub area. And coming down this side of the wall, a little tricky with the light from the window to kind of get a good concept of the coloring, but I think you can, I think you can get a hang of it right here. So, you know, definitely darker. It's got that cabin feel and uh, it's gonna be nice, you know? It's one accent wall done and blending in over here, I had done a little bit of priming on the vanity wall here. So kind of seeing how it's coming together. There's still a lot more to do. This wall with the sinks is gonna have the stone ledging and then I just got the primer done on this wall and I've got a lot more left to do. Brian. So hopefully that was really fun to kind of see how things are starting to turn out, how the, the look of the house is starting to come together, how it's starting to, the beams are starting to pop out a little bit more when you contrast it with the white walls. And then you've got you know, the wood paneling effect that's in the bathroom starting to add the character. So it's definitely exciting. It's motivating to keep working. You know, you want to work into the night sometimes because it's like you want to get your projects done and move on to the next thing. So my job this weekend is to see how much painting I can get done, see if I can get all the primer on first, and then I'll take a breather before I get to roll the rest of the paint. So thanks for joining us, guys, and thanks for all your great comments and helpful tips so far this week with the, with the septic issue. And it's time to get rolling, you know? I gotta get my, gotta get my roller going and uh, get my paint rolled out because Brian's on a bike ride right now enjoying this warm weather. It's about 60 degrees outside, so... That's the, the sleeveless shirt, because we know we're going to be working up a sweat rolling out this paint. But take care, guys. We're going to probably post a video in a few days to show you sort of the after effects of maybe some of the ledger stone and um, maybe some flooring is going to happen. We'll see what we get done this week. But take care, guys. And if you haven't subscribed to our journey, you want to be notified as soon as possible when that next video comes out. If you hit subscribe and then that notification bell, you think you get an email right away at the have a great weekend and